So this video is going to be a, a quick and easy way for you to be able to uh, make some changes, basic changes to your DME without having to go into ROM Raider and perform some basic functions that uh, a lot of people request. Uh, so I did come across a tool as I was searching through the MS41 uh, wiki. I suggest you look into that, but there's a tool here now that allows you to pick a tune file and you can turn off uh, emission stuff, uh, toggle Vanos, change your, uh, you know, um, EWS, turn that on and off. There's the CRC check uh, that is performed anytime you do a flash. Uh, so you can turn these things on and off. And even if you're doing an auto, auto to manual swap, uh, you can do that here as well. Some prerequisites here uh, before you get started. Uh, make sure you do watch my first video because you're going to have to have a basic understanding of how to read and write files to your DME. The, the precursor to this is you're going to have to come up with a file from your specific car to load into this program for it to be able to make changes. So make sure you watch my first video and I'll, I'll have a link in the description to that. After playing with this uh, new tool, uh, the first thing I realized is that it will modify your bin file directly. And this could be good and bad. It makes it simple to be able to understand what the program's doing, but it's uh, it's gonna be important to make a backup of um, your, your bin file from your car. So if anything happens with this program or you need to go back and revert back to what you had before, you're able to do that. So obviously just uh, copy and paste in the same spot and you'll create a second bin file. Making sure you watch this video in its entirety because there's some important details like this. So I'm gonna have the link to download this application, but this is a form, so you need to uh, first register an account uh, with the ROM Raider forms and then you can actually download this file. So see right now it says I don't have permission actually download the file earlier um, in another browser, so that's why it's not saying that. But yes, make sure you create your uh, ROM Raider account before you try to download this. This is what the application looks like when you open it up. Um, you, first thing you're gonna do is click this load button and then choose your actual bin file. <clears throat> Now you'll be greeted with a couple different options here. Um, the main point is that this can actually uh, deal with MS41.2 and MS41 DMEs. So you may see a little bit different settings here. So if, like for example, my oxygen sen sensors, I have the option to do du dual or single since the MS41.2s have two banks of O2 sensors. So if you're gonna do like a cat delete, um, you change this to single, and then you can get around emissions and all that. I won't get into the details of that. Um, and then you have here your EWS button, so you can disable that. I would still do um, the behind the dash wire loop trick. Um, because sometimes these EWS units burn out. Um, and the CRC check, this checksum. So every time you create a tune file, it, it does this CRC check behind the scene to make sure that your uh, bin file is on the up and up. You can actually disable that feature here. Um, I would suggest leaving that on. I don't really feel need to turn that off. Um, but other features, um, you can uh, turn off, you know, knock detection. Um, you can change what the ASC button does if you want it to do an actual ignition retard when you press the ASC button traction control in your car. Um, and then a whole bunch of like emissions related devices can be turned off. Um, there's different states here. There's allowed, disabled, and not allowed. Uh, I'm trying to figure out the, the actual difference between those. Um, I know like in some states, uh, when you go for emissions testing, 
some of these devices have to be quote unquote active uh, for you to be able to pass the, the smog test. So you may have to play around with some of these settings to get it to where you need. Once you've made your changes here, um, you're gonna go ahead and press save. Now, again, this is gonna modify that same file that you loaded in. So be careful that you're not editing that same backed up tune file um, that you just read from your DME. Make sure you have a, a different copy that you're editing from. So you get, can go ahead and save that. Uh, once I click that, there's actually this tune, and I believe this has ROM Raider built in or has a link to ROM Raider. So what's kind of nice is you click on this and it will actually open up that specific tune file and you can, you know, verify that, hey, yes, uh, you know, it, it did stuff with the secondary air pump or the O2 sensor. So you can go ahead and verify that uh, the file is the way that you want it. <clears throat> the other cool thing here is that it has the data logger, so it'll actually launch the ROM Raider data logger with the correct um, definitions for your DME. And then you can, once you're connected to the car, you know, pick which parameters you want, you want and then do some data logging. So yeah, that's pretty much the gist of the tool. Uh, I just wanted to get this information out there because I, I was not aware of this tool myself. And I do get a lot of requests in my E36 group um, that hey, say, hey, who can um, do an EWS delete for me? Or who can do the emissions deletes? These are very common basic functions uh, that a lot of people request. I'm hoping in the future that the developer um, adds in like, you know, maybe burble settings and kind of stuff that like if you guys are familiar with MHD on the E90 platforms and, and F chassis, um, kind of similar settings to those and just make it more user friendly for people to be able to, you know, change common tune uh, variables. But uh, uh, I do want to talk to the developer after this to see if we can enhance that. But uh, I think this tool is a really great thing uh, for people that don't know how to tune.